Hey, what's going on, my social troopers? My name is Chewbacca Plays, and today I'm here with my boy Solar Flare. And I, okay. I've been, I have been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and beating myself about these what if battles and what if stories and discussions and power levels for, for what feels like eternity now. And I, today I got excited because I was, I was reading some Flash comics online, and I was like, I think I just discovered a scale that we can use. And it's like, instead of trying to make power levels or trying to compare techniques or trying to base skills off of their names, like saying that because Frieza's attack is called a supernova, it's equal to a supernova, why don't we compare it what they can do? So like, let's say if a character can blow up a planet, then they're, they're planet buster level. If a character can blow up a galaxy, then they're galaxy buster level, and so on and so forth. Like, if I went outside and punched the sidewalk and I broke the sidewalk, it cracked and there was a crater in the ground, I'd be sidewalk level. Like, just just to make <laughs> things easy. <laughs> I am sidewalk level. <laughs> <laughs> Today I stubbed my toe on the table and the table broke. I'm table level. <laughs> no, but I All just... Right, yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> so that's going to be the scale that we're going to be trying to use from now on. I mean, Jeremy... Uh, you want to go in more in depth with this? Okay, okay so, so we're, we're going, going off the straight, straight stuff that we got from comics, comics okay? okay? We're not we're doing, doing no movie, movie stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're, we're going straight we're from the comics. source. Unless we state specifically that we're comparing movie characters for the sake of the... Like, like if we think that exactly, two characters yeah. are going to be more even from the movie universe, unless we're doing, like, a special thing, normally we're going straight from the comics or just whatever the canon continuity is. Like, normally we're going after the most current versions of characters. Now... Most, most this, uh, this, uh, this video will probably, probably be mostly about, about Superman and Goku, Goku because, because those are, those are like, more considered, considered like fighters. fighters. The, uh, the, the, the like, like, most epic, epic rivalry, rivalry ever is Superman versus Goku, Goku, so they're probably going to be more talked about than a lot of other superheroes. Oh, yes, definitely. Other superheroes as well. Mm hmm. I mean, yeah, we're going to mention. Yeah, like, this video isn't so much as us sticking to a specific topic, it's just going to be us kind of just showing off the scale for the sake of you guys understanding how the scale works and how we're going to use the scale in the future. Like this video is just so you get accustomed to how we're going to do things for uh, what if battles and discussion videos from here forward. That's why that I've kind of been sticking to what if stories and haven't been releasing many what if battles because I was taking the time to to kind of focus on this scale and I was only really uploading the pre-recorded ones that I had instead of recording new ones. So I apologize for that. And I thought, the, I thought it was funny because Alex said that he, uh, his reason for this was because he just he thought of it randomly while watching or while reading a, uh, a Flash comic. Well, I thought like when he first invited me and told me about it, like I immediately thought he was like just saying, "Hey, we always talk about superhero stuff, like these two going against each other, what would happen? Why don't we just make a video?" That's why I thought he was doing it also because we're always we're always not not necessarily arguing, but we're always like, like talking, talking about, about our own reasons why this person would win. Well, that's the thing is, up until now, we've never really known. Have like we've never had a fair scale to compare characters yeah, yeah. to. Like we've never, like we've always gone back and forth about Goku versus Superman and a lot of other fights because we've we've never had the ability. Like we never like thought outside the box for a scale. And now we can do that. It's like, all right, well, Goku can destroy this many planets, and Superman can destroy this many planets, and Goku can hit hit this hard, and Superman can hit this hard, and like now we have a fair way to actually measure their abilities to see how they stack up. Okay. okay now, now I know what the talking. Let's, let's just get, get into, into this. this. Okay. Is that yeah. good? good? You want to start off with while saying something? something? Oh yeah. So okay. So like first. Like, like, okay, so like off the top of my head, like if we compared like, so like Spider-Man to like, to like Raditz. So like Spider-Man, you know, he gets, Spider-Man's easily like a, like a, maybe like a, you know, street level character. He fights goons, you know, every now and then yeah. he's, he's, he, he's, I mean, he can be pretty durable sometimes. I mean, he's shown getting punched by Electrode. Which means that he can survive, you know, like bolts of lightning, which is pretty impressive. But, you know, like, it's nothing too crazy. And he's about as fast as sound, because he can dodge bullets. 
But then you've got Raditz, who can dodge the special beam cannon. And Piccolo is shown blowing up the moon in four seconds, which means that he can... He's like his attacks are faster than the speed of light. So the fact that Raditz is able to dodge that attack means that he's able to move about the speed of light as to where Spider Man's able to move about the speed of sound. And in terms of power, Raditz you know, Raditz can he can be a he can be a pretty powerful character, you know. He he's shown moving about the speed of light and he can attack about you know, building level. It's implied that he's blowing up planets, but we've never we've never seen him do it in Dragon Ball. We've never seen uh, Raditz blow up planets by himself. He's never been like a planet buster character, but he's definitely mountain level, if nothing else. And I'm sure that if he went great ape, he would be planet level. He'd be able to destroy the planet that he was standing on or whatever. Yeah. yeah. I, I think so. But, so like, you compare the two, and it's like, yeah, okay, Spider-Man... Sp yeah, if you compare, like... Like cartoon Spider Man and Raditz. Raditz is much more than win. He has more power and he's, he's fast. There's, there's yeah, no yeah. doubt about that. So, like, yeah, so like Superman, he's able. Like, okay, so like Raditz can't survive an attack that's like equal in power to a nuclear blast, as to where Superman can survive supernovas and st things like that. And a I black mean, hole. Yeah, and a black <laughs> hole, yeah. <laughs> And that, out but of a black hole. Not in that only same that, sense. Not only that. Mm -hmm. He took a little black hole. Yes, it was a pretty small black hole.